Welcome back, second graders. Today is Tuesday, June 9th, 2020. Now, to be ready for this math lesson today, you're going to need something to write with and something to write on. So please go grab um, those materials now. As you're grabbing those materials, yesterday in our lesson, we learned that a rhombus is a quadrilateral that has four equal sides. Today, we're going to learn about a rectangle. And we're going to take a look at these shapes just like we did yesterday in our problem solving task. And we need to decide what makes a rectangle a rectangle. What are the characteristics? What are the properties? What are the attributes? That means how many angles does a rectangle have? How, what are the side lengths like? How many sides does a rectangle have? Um, things like that. Does it have straight lines, curvy lines? Thinking about ways that you can describe it and what would be true for all rectangles. <clears throat> so when you take a look at the shapes in here, this side are, uh, provides you with five examples of rectangles, and this side over here provides you with five examples of things that are not rectangles. So after you take a look at this, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to actually do this. Uh, you do not need to pause the video at all. I'll give us a couple of minutes. Your job is to figure out a definition for a rectangle. So finish this sentence. A rectangle is, and you need to make sure you're specific, and whatever you write down is true for any shape that we would call a rectangle. Go ahead. Take about two minutes. <clears throat> Take about one more minute. <clears throat> okay if you're not done with your definition you can definitely pause the video here and then start it when you are ready uh, but let's jump in here so as we can see something that is true about all of these shapes here for rectangles is that they all have four sides and I'm going to go ahead and count all four of them <coughs> I'm sorry <clears throat> Awesome. And over here, some shapes are quadrilaterals and have four sides. Actually, in fact, all of these also have four sides. So, hmm, there are some shapes that are quadrilaterals that are not considered rectangles. All right, that's interesting. So I'm going to say four sides, and it has four angles. Let's take a look at the angles that we can see here. Let's see if we can be specific. Do all of these angles look to be the same, or are they a mixture of all three? Hopefully you notice that all of these make perfect square corners. And remember, if they make perfect square corners, the distance between where two lines connect, that means that they are right angles. So not only do they have four angles, but all of the angles in a rectangle are right angles. And what else do you notice about the side lengths? That's something else that I noticed when we were talking about the rhombuses. What's true about the side lengths? Are they all different? Are they all equal? Are some of them equal? 
hopefully you noticed that they have two sets of equal lines. So for example here, if we look at this shape, it's a quadrilateral and it has four lines, but these two look to be about equal, but the top and bottom are not. When we come over here and look at this rectangle, we can see the top and the bottom are the same and the left and the right are the same. Same thing down here, top and bottom, those are equal. Left and right, those are equal. So this is what makes a rectangle a rectangle. So I'm gonna add this to my definition <clears throat> on my line. A rectangle is a quadrilateral, and I'm gonna use that word instead of saying that it has four sides, lateral, that has four right angles and two sets of equal lines. So this is what makes a rectangle a rectangle. If it only had one set of equal lines, like in this example, it would not be a rectangle. If it had greater than or less than uh, angles, then it would not be a rectangle. But a rectangle is a quadrilateral that has four right angles and two sets of equal lines. So let's practice some problems together. <clears throat> Just like yesterday, I have a little visual for us to know. It says the rectangles, and here's three more examples of them. A quadrilateral, four right angles, two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length, which is what we just talked about in our definition. So now we have a ton of shapes down here. A ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of shapes down here. And our job is to sort these shapes into rectangles and non-rectangles. And the way that we're gonna do it, I just wanna make sure you can see everything. Um, I want you to create this chart on your paper. We're gonna do some of these together, and then we're gonna, we're gonna go over the answers and have you do some of them by yourself. So set up your chart so one side of your paper says rectangles and the other side says non-rectangles. Or you could even write other shapes, that's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do here for this problem is we're going to take each shape at a time and we're going to look at number one first. And we're going to go through to see if it meets the requirements to be called a rectangle. So is it a quadrilateral? Yes. One, two, three, four. Does it have four right angles? It actually does. And I'm going to turn the paper so you can see it a little bit more straight. But each of these um, lines where they connect the space between makes right angles. So these are definitely right angles. And they, it also has two sets of lines that are the same length. So we have the, this one and this one that are the same and this one and this one. So example number one is definitely a um, example of a rectangle. We're going to do number two. When we look at number two, is it a four-sided shape? Absolutely. <coughs> Does it have four right angles? <coughs> Excuse me. My allergies are getting to me. <clears throat> well, let's take a look at this angle. The space be an angle is the space between two lines that connect. So here's my perfectly straight horizontal line. And if it was um, going to be a right angle, if I have to draw a perfectly straight vertical line, it would have to connect to it to make that perfect square corner. It doesn't, it's greater than. So because this angle is greater than, this is an example of a quadrilateral, a shape, a four-sided shape that is not a rectangle. So number two goes over here. Let's take a look at number three. Is it a quadrilateral? One, two, three, four, five. Mm -mm. Quadrilaterals have four sides, so shape number three is not a quadrilateral. This is a five-sided shape called a pentagon. Number four. So I've already done number one, number two, number three, number four. That's definitely not a rectangle because rectangles also have straight lines. This is curved. It's an oval, so that's not a rectangle. Number five over here. Take a look at these corners. What do you notice about these corners? Hopefully you see that these corners are not straight lines. These lines are curved. Because they're curved, it cannot be a rectangle. Let's find number six. Number six is right here. Let's take a look at this. This is a four-sided shape, so it is a quadrilateral. But now we need to check, take a look at the angles. So let's move it a little bit. Well, I'll move it like this. So this is a perfectly horizontal line, and let's uh, add the perfectly vertical line. As you can see, if this was a perfectly vertical line, it would match up with my dots, it doesn't. So this angle is a greater than 
right angle. So because of that, number six is not a rectangle. So far we only have one. Let's see if we can find a couple more together. Number seven, ooh, this is that trapezoid shape. It is a quadrilateral, but the reason why it's not a rectangle is because this side and this side are not the same length, and this angle is less than a 90 degree. So that's not a rectangle. <clears throat> number eight, how many sides does number eight have? One, two, three, four, five. Is that a quadrilateral? Nope. So it can't be called a rectangle. It's actually a pentagon. We're going to do three more together and then you're going to do the rest on your own. So let's find number nine. Where is number nine? Right here. Let's take a look at number nine. Awesome. So number nine has four sides. So it's a quadrilateral. When I draw to see about my corners, this is a perfectly vertical line, a horizontal line that's attaching to a perfectly vertical line. So it has four right angles, so that's totally fine. But now it needs to have two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length. The problem, all four sides are the same. So this isn't a rectangle, this is a rhombus. So number nine is gonna go here. And let's do two more. Number 10, here's number 10. All right, number 10 is definitely a four-sided shape. It definitely has four right angles, those perfect square corners, and it definitely has two sets of opposite sides that are the same length. So this is definitely a rectangle. So we just found our second rectangle. Awesome, let me cross off the ones we've done so we're not getting confused here. Awesome, and we just did 10, and we're moving on to 11. 11 looks super familiar to what we did over in number nine, just a smaller version. And we figured out that in number nine, that it was not a rectangle. So let's see if that's the case here. For number 11, number 11 has four sides, so it's definitely a quadrilateral. Um, let's take a look at the angles. You know what, these angles actually appear to be greater than, not by much, but they're just a little bit greater than a right angle. So this is not a rectangle. And now you are gonna take a look at the rest of these shapes. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so you can see, or I'm actually gonna raise this up. It's not important that you see my chart. You'll see that when we go over it. It's most important that you're seeing these shapes. So your job is to do shapes numbers 12 through 22 and figure out if it's a rectangle or not a rectangle and we will go over your answers. So go ahead and get started. Pause the video. Okay, hopefully you've had enough time to solve these on your own, so we're gonna go over them together. I'm gonna pull mine back a little bit so you can see my chart during this time. Awesome, so we left off at number 11, so you were doing number 12. Well, number 12 is definitely a rectangle. I know because it's a quadrilateral with four right angles and two sets of uh, sides that are equal. So 12 is a rectangle. Number 13, look at it. It's definitely a rectangle. Two sets, of, two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length. You can tell that those are perfect square corners and it has four sides. 13 is definitely a rectangle. 14, take a look at this one. 14 has four sides. It definitely has four right angles, but the problem is they're all the same length. In order to be a rectangle, you need to have two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length. Not all four the same, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is definitely not a rectangle. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna pause on this one. I'm gonna take numbers nine and 14. We're gonna talk about it more in tomorrow's lesson. I'm gonna take that out here. So Ms. Dixon made a mistake. We're gonna talk about those shapes in tomorrow's lesson, same with 21. Um, so let's just take a, a look at the remainder of these lessons, okay? Um, because I think what I'm, what I'm telling you is wrong and I don't wanna be wrong, so I'll clarify that tomorrow. But this is considered a rectangle. So we can even correct it right now. The reason why it is a rectangle is because it just needs to have two sets of opposite sides that are the same length. This and this are the same length, this and this are the same length. Because of that, this can be um, considered a rectangle. So 14 is a rectangle, which is the same for nine. 
and I already highlighted 21 for us, that's also a rectangle. So I, that was my mistake. It's okay if they're all the same size, size because the purpose of a rectangle is that the opposite sides are the same. And even though all four are the same measurement, these two sides need to be the same and these two sides need to be the same. So that, and they are, so that makes it a rectangle. I'm sorry about any confusion. Tomorrow's lesson when we talk about another shape, we'll definitely clear that up a little bit more. So nine, 14, and 21. Um, they are all rectangles because they're quadrilaterals. They have four right angles and they have two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length to each other. Taking a look at number 15 though, hopefully you noticed here that these angles are not right angles. Instead, we have some greater than angles and less than angles. So because of that, number 15 is not a rectangle. Number 16, this is a weird looking trapezoid. That's not a rectangle. So I'm putting that up here. 17, my friend over here with curved lines. That's not a rectangle. Rectangles don't have curved lines. 18, that's a triangle, three-sided shape. 19, ooh, looks like a rectangle to me. Four sides, four right angles, perfect square corners, and two sets of sides that are the same length. So these two are the same and these two are the same. So 19 is definitely a rectangle. Number 20, how many sides does this shape have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's an octagon. Number 20 is not a rectangle. We talked about number 21 already. Let's go to number 22. This cannot be a rectangle because it doesn't have four sides. If it was a rectangle, it would have had a line there. So 22 is also not a rectangle. So before you go onto your exit ticket, I just wanna clarify what I said because I feel like I probably confused some of you. So a rectangle has to be a quadrilateral. It has to have four right angles and it has to have two sets of sides, two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length. So this, and if this is just me doing this without a straight edge ruler. This is an example of a rectangle because it has four right angles, it has four sides, and this side and this side are the same length and this side and this side are the same length. But at the same time, a shape that looks like this is also considered a rectangle because it has four sides, it has four right angles, that's how we can use right angles, right? Perfect square corners. And this side and this side are the same and the top and bottom are also the same. So it doesn't matter if all four sides are the same, as long as the opposite sides are the same length, and uh, so left and right and top and bottom, that means it's a rectangle. Rectangles can also look like this. Rectangles can be really thin and small. They can even look like this, okay? So as long as it's a quadrilateral with four, um, four sides, of course, has four right angles and it has two sets of opposite sides that are equal in length. So these are all examples of rectangles. Awesome. Your job right now is to switch gears and go and finish up your lesson on Seesaw. Make sure that you use um, everything that you've learned in this lesson today to answer those questions. And please, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to your teachers about it. I will be back tomorrow with another math video, so enjoy the rest of your day.